good morning everyone we are in the last week of homeschool and i thought it would be fun today to just kind of follow me around as i do my homeschool routine with the boys so this is a day in our life i've already made the bed i've already started the laundry so let's get going into our morning breakfast routine with our read alouds well, we are at breakfast and we are going to start our morning read alouds. We are going to do some on the farm letters and numbers from Gather Around. This is for my pre k -er. Um, This is like his language arts curriculum that we're using. And then we're probably going to do some what was the gold rush read aloud. And then for the day I have planned, my first grader is going to do math and then I will do my pre k math and language arts and then we do need to do science journal for um, our geology that we're doing we we did our fossils unit this week so we need to do the student notebook and then we have handwriting we're honestly just like wrapping up curriculum so yeah last week of school and I just wanted to do film what it it is a day in the life. So here we go. Let's get reading. I finished my language arts. All right, boys, we're going to learn about a grain of rice. Each grain of rice is covered with a hole that is too tough for us to eat. Can people eat the whole of a grain of rice? No. Correct. Thank you. Can you name some different colors of rice? Brown, purple, pink. Now, we can work hard. God made us able to work hard. We're also going to do my pre kers little review section. So let's see how his review goes. Hey, buddies, what was one thing you learned about cats this week? That they eat cat food. Cats do eat cat food. <gasps> what about, what do barn cats eat? Mice. Mice. What's one thing you learned about rice this week? That the field has to be flooded. That the field has to be flooded. Okay, that was your, what you learned. You gotta come up with one on your own. What's one thing we learned about rice this week? That's not one different color. And I do like to do these reviews with him because I like to make sure that he is learning and paying attention and keeping on track with our read alouds. I do like to do that the little mini reviews at the end of each week. Okay, now we're going to do our read aloud for what was the gold rush. So, first grader, what have we, what is one thing you've learned about the gold rush so far? One thing I have learned about the gold rush is that like 300 years ago, there was a sickness that people were low on vitamin C. Do you remember what the sickness is called? No. Scurvy. It's called scurvy. Yeah. Um, and I told them it, it was a long time ago and that we don't have to worry about scurvy in our family because we are gonna be going on a boat at some point and I don't want him to be afraid of going on a boat because that's when we talked about scurvy was the boat ride. So we're learning about striking it rich or not. And we, James, I started this chapter with you earlier. So we're learning about striking it rich. Okay, listen up boys. There were other famous finds. Love to see it. Okay, we are subtracting tens today, buddies. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> we have are linking cubes if you need them, okay? And you yeah. have your hundreds chart. There are 100 of them. There are. Or well, they're <gasps> supposed to be. So today we're learning about subtracting tens. So we have 73 donuts at a party. 30 of them were eaten. How many cookies are left? And here is how Emma solves the problem. 
but I want to figure out how you solve this problem. Another one. Okay. So this oh. oh, I wish I had five, but I only have three. How many more do I need? Two. Good job, bud. Here, there were five fish. Three got crossed out. So five, take away three. How many are left? Two. Yes. Mom, what is the highest number in here? Thirty-one is the highest number in there. Thank you for oh, asking. I'm find one. You want to find thirty-one? If there's there's thirty-one. There's thirty-one. Yep, he found thirty-one. Okay. And what? And is it upside down? <gasps> it is upside down. Mm -hmm. oh, good job. It's Thursday, May 16th. Can you update our calendar for us? It's Thursday, May 16th. I want to get to a high, high number. I know. We'll have to, we'll have to use all our numbers for May. I don't know, how many days are in May? Hey buddies, for May, we get to use all 31 numbers. Yay! Is that exciting? Yeah. No ones are to move. Okay, so we are now transitioning to his language arts. We are using on the farm but numbers and letters level two. Put this in. Go for it, buddy. That's he's updating our calendar for tomorrow. Love to see it. Hey, buddy. Today, I'd like you to tell me a story. The end. The end. Okay. I need to read these good people this story. May I? Yeah. May I read your story? Because yeah. it's, a, it's a doozy. It's a doozy. Okay, this came from my child's imagination. A kitty was born. He went in a drawer that was empty. Then he went in a shoe. Then he said, I want to get out of the shoe. <laughs> he went outside. Then a house fell on him. Another kitty tried to dig him out. He was five years old now and he dug himself out. He dug a hole and he called it a leaf hole. He dug it deeper and deeper until he said, ah, I'm too hot. He saw a tree nearby and it was fall. The kitty got buried in leaves. The kitty put all the leaves in his leaf hole. He dug more and more. He put the leaves in until it was a giant hill of leaves. He stood on it. The hole was deep still. He buried it more and more and more and more and more and more. That is the story, the end. So the boys are on free time right now. We're having a little morning break and they are playing water table. And they're- Can you guess which one's the coffee maker? Is that the coffee nope. maker or is this? It's the one you drink from, but and this is the coffee maker. Oh, that's the coffee maker. They're playing water table coffee maker, I mean, I mean, I love to see the creativity, but I'm gonna do some chores around the house. That's what I have to do right now. And then we'll get back to school in a little bit. So I was upstairs doing some chores. I'm about to call the boys in for lunch for our read aloud today. We are going to be reading from Nature Anatomy for more science. Again, we're learning about fossils from the Blossom and Root Year One Science Curriculum, Wonders of the Earth and Sky. So for this fossil lesson, read aloud, it is page 20, and look how, this is what we're gonna be reading during lunchtime. So I'm gonna get the boys, read this beautiful um, science curriculum, and then we will go from there, but I'll see you in a bit. So we've just finished lunch, and my first grader wanted to show that he is doing gonna do some handwriting practice. So. He's gonna get started on that and I'm gonna finish up my pre kers language arts lesson. And then then you and I, buddy, you, we, you, we get to do science journal. So my camera automatically stopped on me. I don't know what happened. But what he did was he identified a bunch of shapes and now we are on to his letter V book. So he makes one of these books for every single letter, huh buds? So while I was finishing up language arts with my pre-K or my first grader, oh, that's gorgeous, buds. That's really gorgeous. 
I love it. <laughs> so we are now going to do my first graders science journal. Now this is from Blossom and Root, Wonders of the Earth and Sky. It's very simple. It is just a lines and a place to color. So I am his scribe and then he will do his drawing of what he thought was most important during our fossil unit. So buddies, can you tell me buddies what you thought, well let's just put this up here. What did you think, I need a pencil. What did you think was most important when we learned about fossils this week? When I love fossils. Say mug goes on top of fossils. Wait bangs fossils. <laughs> well wait, what does the weight do? The mud weight puts the mud. pressure on fossils. The weight of the mud puts pressure on the fossils. Then it, they can rise up to the surface. What did, once they rise up to the surface, what happens? People find the fossils. Put people find the fossils. Do you remember what type of person? A paleo paleontologist. So paleo. So I am a paleontologist. Paleontologists find the fossils, and then what do these paleontologists do with the fossils? They put they they drive to museums, and then they put them in museums. So while he is coloring his fossil. I did also read during lunchtime along with Nature Anatomy, I read a passage from the Bible. Do you remember who who we're learning about in our story? Queen Esther. We're learning about Queen Esther. Can, do some people write with their left hands? Some, you're either right hand, well they're you're either right handed or left handed or there are very very rare people who are ambidextrous. We are not ambidextrous buddies. Well, I'm only Amber the Strius for big heavy things. You know like the yard of ribbon? Yeah, when well, you have to use two hands. So buddy, you are now on free time. So we're gonna have free time. They're playing out back. They're gonna go play out back. Um, Pre-care is already out there. And so what we do at 12.30 we have what it was called room time for an hour and a half where honestly mommy gets a break. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, huh buddy, mommy needs that break. You do too though, huh? Yeah. Well guys, I'm gonna wrap up this day in the life video of what we got up to on one of the last days of our homeschool year for first grade and pre-k. Um, my boys are upstairs doing their chores. Their chores today were to clean their rooms. So it's kind of private for them to be cleaning the room, so I'm not filming that. But I'm gonna be going to the library later and I wanted to show you, just to wrap up this video, the books that I'm returning. So some of these books are for the kids, some of them are for mommy. So we got big dog, little dog. Shapes, shapes, shapes. This is along the river. This was for, I think, Brazil, our Brazil unit. Finding Wild, this was a science unit. One is a snail, ten is a crab. This was for math, it was really fun. The Great K-Pock Tree, this again was for social studies for Brazil. Then here's the mama books. We've got everyone on this train is a suspect. Um, actually, it's overdue. I didn't get to read it, but it is um, a thriller, so I might pick it up again if I can find it from the library. And then we have Vera Wong's unsolicited advice for murderers. I did a buddy read of this with my friend um, Bandana Book Mom here on YouTube. This book was fantastic. I loved it. I gave it, I think, four and a half out of five stars because the middle got a little boring for me, but the the it's great. This is great. And then we have Thunderhead. This is book two in the Scythe series. And the beginning and the end were great, but the middle, this book took me forever to get through. Like weeks upon weeks of just like, this middle section was so boring. The ending was fantastic. There is a third one in this series that I'm gonna pick up only because of the epic ending. So looking forward to that. But guys, thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it to the end, give me a hi in the comments. I would love, I would love to hear it. Um, 
So yeah, I'm gonna take these books to the library once my husband gets home because it's nice to get out of the house sometimes as a mom and go to the library by yourself and just like pick up all the books that I have on order. That's one of my favorite things that I get to do by myself. So I only get to leave the house by myself once a week. So this is my once a week getting out of the house. Not even kidding about that. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching my video um, and I hope to see you again real soon and wherever you are I hope you're having a fantastic day. Thanks for watching. Bye!